Hi everyone, uh, and welcome back to the series of circuit practice problems. And today we want to solve uh, Thevenin equivalent circuit. Uh, of course, Thevenin and Norton are basically very very similar. Uh, the Thevenin equivalent is a voltage source in series with uh, resistance. The Norton is a current source in parallel with the same resistance. Using source transformation, you can go from one to another. So, Thevenin or Norton are basically uh, very close to each other. Now, in this question, basically Thevenin equivalent, uh, before we solve it, I'd like to uh, mention about why we need Thevenin equivalent. Basically, like this one, you have to ha you have a circuit, and this circuit is basically a linear circuit. So, this is my circuit, and there are two terminals, let's say A and B. I want to find whatever this circuit is, regardless how complicated it is, I can represent the circuit basically as a voltage supply equal to V Thevenin in series with a resistance R Thevenin. And this is your A and B. So the whole thing, everything will be represented at V Thevenin and R Thevenin. Why you are doing this for a couple of uh, benefits, one of them, if I have a resistance here, basically, and this resistance is keep on changing, instead of solving the complicated circuit, I will so solve a very simple uh, one loop uh, circuit. Also, to know what is the maximum, the condition of this RL for maximum power to transfer from V thevenin or from the supply to basically to the load, so this is another applications of uh, Thevenin equivalent, as we will see in the coming uh, coming example. So in this example here, we want to find uh, the V out, this voltage output here across this resistance uh, using the Thevenin theory. Okay. Now, basically here, when you have a load resistance that you want basically to uh, analyze uh, the circuit and find the voltage or the current across it, we remove the load resistance and then we find the equivalent circuit without this load resistance. So this load resistance will be this RL. So we remove it and then we analyze the, the circuit. Now the approach, we have two approaches, one specific approach and one general approach. The specific approach when we have only independent sources. And since this example has a dependent source, we will use the universal approach. Maybe in the future, when we have a circuit with only uh, independent sources, we will cover the, the special approach. But let, let's now concentrate on the universal approach that can be applied to any circuit that has dependent sources or doesn't have a dependent source. So how to deal with that? First, we will find V open circuit. The first thing you want to find is the open circuit voltage. Now I remove this, and this open circuit voltage is basically the Thevenin equivalent voltage. So I will use nodal. So I will set this as my ground. So this is V equal to zero. The node voltage here between here to the ground is your V open circuit. And this voltage is, I will call it V1. And this voltage is basically 12 volt from here to the ground. From here to the ground is minus 2Vx because of the reverse polarity. So I assign voltages now to all nodes now. So we, can, we are ready now to apply the nodal analysis. So KCL at V open circuit. Okay, so we have a current source entering and we have a current going up here. So basically, uh, you will have V open circuit minus V1 over 1 kilo is equal to 2 milliamp. I will multiply uh, everything times 1,000. Then you will have V open circuit minus V1 is equal to 2. And from this, you can say that your V1 is equal to V open circuit minus 2. And this is my first equation. Then apply KCL at V1. Assume the currents are leaving here. 
So we will have uh, V1, the current to the far left, V1 minus 12 divided by 2 kilo, plus V1 minus minus 2 Vx divided by 1 kilo, plus V1 minus V open circuit divided by 1 kilo. We have one, two, three branches. We have one, two, three items in the equation. This is equal to zero. Now let me multiply everything times 2000. So we'll have V1 minus 12 plus V1, 2V1 plus 4VX plus 2V1 minus 2V open circuit. And this is equal to zero. We have V1, 2V1 and 2V1. So we have 5V1. We have here plus 4VX minus 2V open circuit is equal to 12. Now, this is my equation number two. Now, I have here VX. I don't like to have a VX here. I want to get rid of the VX. What is VX? VX is the voltage difference between V1 and V open circuit. So your Vx is basically equal to V1 minus V open circuit. That is your Vx. So we'll substitute. So this is number three. We will substitute three into. Okay, so we'll have five V1 plus four. Now Vx is V1 minus V open circuit minus 2 V open circuit is equal to to 12. So we'll have 9 V1 minus 6 V open circuit is equal to, to 12. And this is equation number 4. Now I will substitute V1 substitute equation 1 in 4. So we will have 9 times V open circuit minus two minus six V open circuit is equal to 12. Nine V open circuit minus six. So this is equal to three V open circuit minus 18 is this is equal to 30. Then your V open circuit is equal to 10 volt. And this is basically your V thevenin. So your V thevenin now is equal to 10 volt. So we found the first item in my nodal analysis circuit. Now we'll go to the second part, and then we need to find I short circuit. So again, I will do the same thing here. Basically, I will uh, assign this is a ground V equal to zero, and this is equal to V1, this node V1. This is 12 volt. This is minus 2 Vx. And of course, this is the same thing is equal to zero. So I want to find this I short circuit. So ACL at V1. Assume the currents are basically leaving. So V1 minus 12 over 2K plus V1 minus minus 2 Vx divided by 1K plus V1 minus zero, because this is zero, divided by 1K is equal to zero. So multiply everything times 2000 or 2K. So V1 minus 12 plus 2V1 plus 4VX. Okay. Plus... 2v1 equal to 0. So we'll have v1, 2, 2, 5v1 plus 4vx equal to 12. Now, vx again is the voltage difference between v1 and 0. So basically, but your vx is equal to v1. So substitute in this equation, this is equation 1. So substitute this in one. So we will have five V one plus four V one is equal to twelve. So your V one is equal to twelve over nine or equal to four divided by by three. Now I want to find I short circuit. So this current plus this current is equal to the I short circuit. So 
let me call this is uh, node V uh, equal to uh, zero. The, the, this is the, the node equal to zero here. So I will apply the KCL at this point. So KCL at V equal to zero node, which is this one. So we'll have the column that enter this node is basically V1 divided by one K. The column that enter here plus two milliamp is equal to your I short circuit. Now substitute, you will have your I short circuit is equal to V1 over K. So it is four over three over 1000. So it's milli plus two. So this will give me uh, uh, this will be 6 over 3, which is, this will give me 10 over 3 uh, milliamps. Okay, so I found I short circuit, and I know V open circuit, so your R7 is equal to the 10 volt divided by the current, which is 10 over 3 milli. And this will give me three kilo volt. So this is your R7. Now what we do, we go back to the original circuit here and redraw the circuit. So this is my circuit plus minus. This is the V7, which is equal to the basically the 10 volt. This is the R7, which is the three kilo. And this is the output resistance that I removed from the circuit, which is equal to one kilo. Now what I want to find, I find I need to find the voltage across this resistance. So that is basically what I want to find V out. And this is very simple using voltage division. It's the main voltage 10 times this resistance, which is 1K, divided by the summation of these two resistors, 1K plus 3K that are in series. And this will give me 2.5 volt. So this is how we can handle the Thevenin equivalent using basically the the general uh, approach. And as I said, we could use a specific approach if we have only independent sources, we will see something like that in the, in the future.